I am always somewhat under the influence. I'm always somewhat under the influence of what? The substance of the kingdom of heaven that comes from the Holy Ghost. There is a buzz. I'm somewhat buzzed right now. It's hard to explain to people, but it's the truth. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words if this is your first time here make sure that you subscribe down below and we'll be able to get new content to you as it becomes available consider becoming a partner with us and we are literally changing the lives of people all over the world so we have a message here I hope you know that right a message that a lot of people haven't heard when I say that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today a lot of people are like well, I've never heard that before more and more people should be saying it say more and more, more, and more. People, people should be saying it, should be saying it. because it's the fact the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and how do we walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word Amen. say by speaking. by speaking so if you want to walk with God you're gonna to have to open your mouth and say some things isn't that true yes, it is. so we have this message it's really this an end time message well we're in this time and walking with him we walk over and above many things that a lot of people aren't walking over and above if we can walk with god the right way we will be literally overcoming and walking over things that other people just struggle with and labor under year after year after year romans 12 verse 21 be not overcome of evil but overcome evil with good so he's giving you an indication of what you're going to be overcoming evil with it would be with good right yes. well this message we have is good mm -hmm. go mmm mm. that's good you ever do that before mm -hmm. you ever eat something that was good it tasted good it did something to you mm -hmm. what does it make you want to do eat some more of it right. we know about that you want to eat more of the good things they eat more of the good things it's gonna have an effect on us we're gonna be able to overcome say overcome overcome evil with good it can also mean we should be overcome with good if we're going to overcome the bad with the good we're gonna be overcome with the good which will cause us to overcome the bad we are going to have to be overcome with good does that make sense we need to be overcome with the good that overcomes we assume that everyone knows what we know we just sort of assume that they're on the same plane they're on the same level and we can just communicate with them it's been difficult many times for me because i have to preach from the place where i am but i have to consider myself and consider where I am that most people don't know what I know mm -hmm. not everyone lives what I live not everyone experiences what I experience on a daily basis now remember we're talking about this in context with God being the Holy Ghost and in the earth today if they've never heard that before they're gonna have a really hard time living the way I'm living or experiencing what I'm experiencing and certainly feeling the way that I feel I walk around in a state of being I could say it that way that that most people are completely unaware of mm -hmm. most most Christians are completely unaware of mm -hmm. but I walk around with the Holy Ghost all day long they can but I'm quite aware that they aren't so not everyone is in the state of being that I'm in mm -hmm. I walk around I often have a smile on my face because frankly I'm affected by the Holy Ghost all the time especially like if I'm driving around in the car or something I'm under the influence I drive around under the influence of the Holy Ghost I'm feeling something experiencing something that's that is affecting me and doing things to me that I have to realize that other people aren't mm -hmm. they're not living in that state of being they're walking around in some other state mm -hmm. Romans chapter 14 and verse 17 for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink but righteousness and peace and joy in 
the Holy Ghost so if I'm gonna be walking in fellowship with the kingdom of God or in the kingdom of God it's gonna be in righteousness peace and joy in who in the, in the Holy Ghost so I'm walking around all day long in the Holy Ghost with the Holy Ghost experiencing say experiencing experiencing, experiencing the kingdom of God and the first thing he says here is righteousness well we know and I've preached on this many times righteousness is being right with God and it has to do predominantly with what you say the righteousness of faith speaks on this wise what saith it the word Romans chapter 10 so if I'm walking around speaking in agreement with God the Holy Ghost I'm walking around in the kingdom of God and I'm experiencing feeling partaking of tasting and seeing the kingdom of God most people are not doing that should they yeah could they of course and we want them to mm -hmm. so the kingdom of God righteousness peace peace man is this peace real mm -hmm. is righteousness re is the Holy Ghost real yeah. yeah he's God in the earth today he is a person he has substance he is an actual being right and his peace is a substance and it's an actual thing and then there's joy that comes with that with him does this make sense so I can walk around with a kind of peace that other people don't have a kind of joy that other people don't have mm -hmm. in the Holy Ghost but I myself I don't think the way I used to think because I can sit here and go well was I feeling this way back then I don't think today the way that I used to think right. my thinking has changed since I began worshiping the Holy Ghost as God can, can you understand this I don't think the way I used to think I don't act the way I used to act I don't pray the way I used to pray I don't believe the way I used to believe my believing has changed mm -hmm. and I don't feel the way I used to feel mm -hmm. so I've changed I'm different did God change no he didn't change I changed and began to walk with him as God in the earth today and many things change when you start to do that I'm changed by the substance that comes from the kingdom of God there's substance in the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and I'm gonna talk about that tonight how would you like to know some of the substance of the kingdom of God it's an actual substance it's a thing that you can feel and experience and it changes you mm -hmm. I'm always they always. always I am always and I mean from the morning till the night time I am always somewhat under the influence I'm always somewhat under the influence of what the substance of the kingdom of heaven that comes from the Holy Ghost Do you understand being in righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost there's substance there I'm always somewhat under the influence of that substance more or less when I recognize that it's less what do I do get go get some more I yield to get more mm -hmm. and I started thinking about this because I realized some people have none I can't imagine walking around with that it'd be like not having a, sp a specific thing you need I must have it and I must have more even more and more today I recognize when when I have less mm -hmm. and I don't mean I have less of the Holy Ghost I have him he's God he, he's a person I don't have more or less of him but more of his substance does that make sense yeah. and so I, I'm on the increase I look for ways to increase that's what I'm gonna be talking to you about tonight so that I can be I can be overcome with good if I have enough of the substance that I'm under the influence of I will be overcome with good does that make sense mm -hmm. there is a buzz I'm somewhat buzzed right now it's hard to explain to people but it's the truth you look for the right word to say to people but the fact that's the fact I know when I have less and I know when I have more and when I have more I get more buzzed there is a buzz there is a substance that alters your feelings when that substance is altering my feelings I feel different I think different I behave different it's a substance that comes from the Holy Ghost that alters your feelings it alters your perception of situations right the situation looks bad situation looks bad 
I yield to the Holy Ghost and I'm gonna be talking about how we, we can get this substance where it exists and how to get it I, I get more of that substance all of a sudden situation doesn't look too bad anymore We'll make it through this. This is nothing. Watch, something will happen. Say, watch, something will happen. Where did I get the watch? Something will happen from. It wasn't from me. I got it from him. And my thoughts and my feelings about the situation were altered by this substance that I got from him. Mm -hmm. You haven't fun yet. Mm -hmm. The perception of the situation changes. Your reactions, your outlook, and the reality that you live in changes in the negative sense and we'll talk about this a little bit but you'd say that somebody that was on some kind of medication mm -hmm. they were depressed and sad all the time then they got the medication and now they're there's a couple of commercials I've seen them with you know they have wings now they, they fly around like a butterfly rather than you know being under a cloud remember that one <laughs> what happened there they were altered by that substance that they took changed their outlook mm -hmm. now they're happy that's just with a prescribed medication let alone with you know the other medications that, but we're talking about the Holy Ghost and a reality that you live in that you weren't living in before mm -hmm. so there is a substance that alters your feelings your perception of situations it alters your reality that you live in you live in a altered reality mm -hmm. I live in an altered reality I have to stop myself many times and realize there's a lot of people that aren't living in an altered reality there's a lot of people who don't know anything at my lowest level of substance you can't say substance abuse but the substance use of the Holy Ghost at my lowest level of medication on him they don't even know what that is mm -hmm. my normal state is way beyond where people have ever been and I have to remind myself number one to try to get people to this state so that their normal state can be this normal state mm -hmm. if you increase your capacity through the word and praying in tongues and worshiping the Holy Ghost it becomes your new normal and then you stop yourself and you look inward and you go oh well, well I wasn't like this before mm -hmm. but this is my new normal I'm being changed we're changed from glory to glory are you getting this so we're gonna be talking about how to get and maintain what I call the buzz it's almost like a velvet blanket wrapping you on the inside there is a buzz that comes from the Holy Ghost and his substance and I am a dealer of sorts I'm sold on it I'm selling it even now to you and it will be contained in this message that I'm talking about tonight if you'll hear with the ears of your spirit you'll be able to grab onto it and you'll be changed one of the ways God does things seems a little sacrilegious talking about the substance of the kingdom of heaven as if it were some kind of drug or some or uh, being equated to drinking alcohol or something like that but honestly many times that's what I would equate it to this is what I feel like it seems a little sacrilegious but if he the Holy Ghost didn't want me to talk this way about it he wouldn't have used this as an example he talked about it this way the anointing that's on me will come on you Acts chapter 2 verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to do something they began to speak it's the number one thing that you're gonna have to learn how to do when you start to walk with the Holy Ghost is learn how to speak they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance now we're gonna see what the result of them speaking say the result, the result. of them yeah. speaking Acts chapter 2 verse 13 others meaning just regular people onlookers bystanders mm -hmm. others mocking said these men are full of new wine but Peter standing up with the eleven lifted up his voice and said unto them you men of Judea and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem be this known unto you and hearken to my words for these are not drunken as you suppose now have you ever seen a drunken person what do they do they slur their word they act differently right mm -hmm. 
have you ever seen a foreign person talking in a different language would you ever go that person's drunk if you just saw a person speaking in a different language no, no they're just speaking in a different language there are certain indicators that that say to us as onlookers that a certain person is intoxicated mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and they supposed that these people were intoxicated mm -hmm. drunk they supposed they were they didn't just go wow look at they're all uh, speaking different languages that's interesting no they said they look like drunk people why would that be because certain things were happening to them they were experiencing some of the substance that came with the Holy Ghost and it caused them to be like drunk people or you could say drunk in the spirit mm -hmm. you could say that verse 33 therefore being by the right hand of God exalted having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost he hath shed forth this which you now see and hear what did they hear they heard them speak in other languages mm -hmm. what did they see they saw them act like drunken people mm -hmm. some of them were falling down some were just stumbling around some were just slurring their regular speech mm -hmm. I'm telling you I know what I'm talking about the more that I get close to the Holy Ghost and his substance gets on me or the substance which I'm gonna show you is in his word then it has an effect on you it's gonna have the same effect on you as it had on these people here mm -hmm. so it's not sacrilegious for me to talk about the substance you could say those people were buzzed could you not mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the will of the Lord is verse 18 and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with the spirit mm -hmm. so here again we see in the scriptures god comparing what it's like to be filled with the spirit to being drunk with wine he says don't get drunk that way get drunk this way people would say that you know drink drinking wine would alter many your, it would alter your feelings it would alter the way you think about things it would alter the reality you're living in same way with take partaking of the substance of the spirit alters your thinking alters the reality that you live in mm -hmm. are you here yes. be not drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with the spirit he's comparing the two be drunk in the spirit be not drunk with wine but be drunk in the spirit now can you get drunk just by drinking a little and some people that are used to drinking a lot it would probably take a lot of a lot to get them to where they are even feeling it anymore mm -hmm. and that's what i was trying to communicate earlier is i walk around in in a in a state of being influenced by the holy ghost most of the time so i don't even recognize it so i have to stop myself and go okay that's what this is mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. So B, and that word there, I like how Kenneth Hagin used to bring it out all the time. He'd say, it's like the active sense of B. Be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be being. Be being filled. It's a continual state of being filled with the Spirit. Mm -hmm. A continual state of increasingly being filled verse 17 says wherefore be not unwise but understanding what the will of the Lord is if this is the will of the Lord what does that say about him he likes you this way if this is his will I just read you that it is his will he likes you this way he likes you to be this way he said to be being he wants you he likes you to be being are we still here mm -hmm. say he likes me this way well think if I do the things that he is telling me to do by confessing the scriptures and speaking in other tongues and worshiping the Holy Ghost and it causes a substance that comes from him or from heaven to come on me and affect me this way the more I do that his will the more filled and the more affected I get he likes me that way he likes you to be being buzzed mm -hmm. 
otherwise he wouldn't do it he wouldn't contain it it's literally fact upon fact and it will happen to you as long as you do the things that he says to do he likes you this way the devil it really just tries to copy everything God does mm -hmm. you do things God's way you wouldn't need to have anti-depression medication you do things God's way you would need to go and drink bottles of wine or whatever with all the other pastors you wouldn't need to do that if you were doing what he told you to do and he likes you that way he likes you this way under the influence more and more I like to drive around under the influence not of alcohol under the influence of the Holy Ghost and you'll start living in an altered reality are you here what I call a buzz so he said to me I prefer my people under the influence he prefers them under the influence I just showed you that in the scripture mm -hmm. if when he showed up on the day of Pentecost what happened to them they went under the influence then he says to be being filled not drunk with wine but be being filled with the spirit mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. so he prefers his people to be under the influence and I'm going to show you some reasons why because it affects the way you think it affects the way you perceive situations so be being filled means to be in a continual state or a continuous state of being Ephesians 5 18 if I do it I'm gonna be be in a continual state of being it's how you be he wants you to be that he prefers you to be in a continual state of be being filled mm -hmm. no that's a lot of bees but you understand let's read on verse 19 what's the next word speaking. speaking be filled with the spirit continual state of be being filled with the spirit speaking are you going to be able to be in that state without speaking mm -hmm. no and what are you going to be speaking you're going to be speaking the word the written word you're going to be speaking in other tongues which is his inspired word to you and hopefully he'll be using the words I worship you Holy Ghost and worshiping him increase it yield to it lean into it mm -hmm. that's the place you ought to be being filled first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things say the things, the things. so we're gonna know the things that are freely given to us of God which things also we speak mm -hmm. so the way to know the thing is to speak the thing mm -hmm. if you don't speak the thing you can't know the thing verse 13 which things also we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches comparing the spiritual thing with the right spiritual word but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned how are you gonna know when you hit the right vein when you hit the right note when you hit the right scripture it's gonna be spiritually discerned you're gonna know it on the inside and you get better at it say I get better at it better. we're speaking in agreement with him there is a substance there it's what I've been talking about number one we need to be speaking in agreement with his known word now inside the known word is the ability within itself the faith in itself the power in itself the substance in itself to bring itself to pass how are you gonna get that word out of the, the promise and into your life you're gonna have to speak it you're gonna be speaking in agreement with it are you here mm -hmm. so there is a substance in every word of God can you understand that yes. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 now faith is the substance. substance of things hoped for there's substance in his word the evidence of things not seen yet for by it the elders obtained mm -hmm. so through the substance the elders obtained we're talking about the Word of God right there's substance in it when we begin to say that we're partaking of a substance 
that's really what I'm trying to get across that they're in every promise of God all the promises of God are yes and amen, amen. right all the promises have a substance in them what substance must come from God comes from his kingdom comes from heaven right there's a substance in every word of God which will bring itself to pass whatever that promise says but my my point for this message is that there's a substance there are you here and that's the substance that we partake of that affects the way you think if I begin to speak in agreement with the substance of Proverbs 10 22 I think it is that the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow with it is there a substance in that verse of Scripture yes. the blessing of the Lord makes rich mm -hmm. is there a sub what what do you suppose the end result of that substance being manifest in your life would be the blessing of you blessing of the Lord making you rich mm -hmm. but the point is there's a substance in that that if you partake of will begin affecting the way you think number one about yourself number two about the situation you're in you're gonna stop thinking yourself poor you're gonna start thinking rich thoughts you're gonna start speaking rich words is this making sense that substance begins to affect you in the way you think forget not all his benefits who renews your youth mm -hmm. is there a substance in those verses of Scripture there's a substance in that verse that will begin to affect the way you think about the age of your body remember all the promises of God will not only produce themselves but they have a substance in them that will affect the way you think healing verses by Jesus stripes I'm healed if I start to partake of the substance that's in that verse of Scripture what am I gonna start thinking about myself like that I'm healed and sickness cannot stay in my body mm -hmm. so there is a substance in the Word of God did I get that across that's my point there is a substance in there that will affect you so we're gonna talk about the elements of inebriation <laughs> if I partake of more and more of that substance I'm gonna be being filled and then you're gonna end up walking around all day in a general state of inebriation more or less the elements of inebriation we're talking about the substance that we partake of more or less and I you can't abuse it there is no substance abuse here there's you are you are partaking of it more and remember the Holy Ghost that's how he likes you that's his will for you in fact his will for you is embedded in that you're not gonna get to his will without partaking of the substance all of the promises of God right contain a substance they are straight up designed for consumption all the promises of God are straight up designed for consumption to taste and see by speaking when we speak it we partake of it we taste it and we begin to see the result of it mm -hmm. but they're straight up designed for consumption and they contain a substance that comes from God mm -hmm. listening and hearing a message like this if there's an anointing that you hear that's on this message that goes into your ear and it resonates with you then you're partaking of a substance that comes with the message mm -hmm. just like a verse of Scripture there's a substance that comes with the verse of Scripture that affects the way you think mm -hmm. and if I'm preaching right then that same substance is going to come on you and begin to change you one of the first ministries I was involved in like a drama group we go around all these different churches and we do these different skits I guess you can call them. Well, one of the things I came up with this I called it doing lines I heard of doing lines before well we got lines of scripture right mm -hmm. you know I'd come up and there's a guy just hanging out there on the stage I would come up and I would, I would say hey you want to do a line you go oh, oh what is it they go do this one uh, he goes uh, God has revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searches all things yea the deep things of God and then I, and I'd, I'd put the Bible down and go hoo, hoo, hoo. that was a good one that was a good one that was a good one like I'm like I'm taking the line in there's a lot of truth to that because you are literally taking that line. you're doing lines of Scripture 
and you're partaking of the substance by saying them and drinking it in yes. is that going to affect me yes and there is a buzz involved with it we'll talk about that in a little bit but that general state of well-being that comes over you that frankly has no reason to be there other than the fact that it's coming from heaven mm -hmm. so i called it doing lines speaking in tongues is another way talking about the elements of inebriation if they're all from the same substance they all come from god you understand holy ghost wrote these verses of scripture when you speak in tongues you're speaking in agreement with the things that he's giving you to say same substance so these basic elements are how you walk with the holy ghost and they still apply i talk about them all the time well, in fact i'm not going to talk too much about the whole speaking in tongues thing because i I cover it so much in so many other things as well as worshiping the Holy Ghost but these basic elements of how you walk with the Holy Ghost still apply but the side benefit is what I call the buzz and it's a way that you can judge how far you are along in that when the reality is we're walking around in a general state of inebriation with the Holy Ghost that other people is just way beyond where they are at Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8 he that sows to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap what life everlasting life everlasting is a substance it's what everybody lives on in heaven he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap the way we're gonna reap it is through the substance of everlasting life so all of these things praying in tongues speaking the word doing lines doing your confessions worshiping the holy ghost all these contain the same substance everlasting life if you sow to the spirit that's what you're going to reap it is a substance and the holy ghost says to me i have provided you with a substance that if you will learn how to appropriate it and apply it will supply your every need as you sow to the spirit through confession tongues and holy ghost worship i will reap this substance of everlasting life your tolerance will increase your daily dose will increase you'll need a bigger daily dose but you are becoming acclimated and prepared for what's next by doing it so our job is to recognize it and increase it honestly that's one of the big parts of this message tonight is I'm trying to get you to recognize it most of us are on some level when we recognize it what should we do yield to it and increase mm -hmm. say yield to, it yield to it and increase because in this be being state mm -hmm. and out of this state listen out of this state this buzzed state this inebriated state this place where you're yielding to comes things that's where they come from if I could answer questions on people well, how do I get my prayer and how do I get this to happen how do I get they come right out of there you'll be confessing that scripture confessing that scripture confessing that scripture and all of a sudden say all of a sudden, all of a sudden. it'll seem like something just comes out and you'll be like oh well that's taken care of many times i'll be praying in the spirit praying in the spirit praying in other tongues out of the spirit comes an answer and even more so say even more so, even more so. when i'm worshiping the holy ghost this happens mm. more and more and more things happen things happen to people that i'm acquainted with things happen in my situation that it would have taken me a long time to deal with mm -hmm. but he just does it but they're spiritually discerned how do I how did I know it took place I discerned it in my spirit most people live on a far lower level than they should Holy Ghost likes you filled right most of us are are living on empty and maybe barely moving that needle at all he wants you full he prefers you that way why do you think he prefers you that way because then he can get things over to you let's increase let's learn how to do this because out of the spirit comes it's in there the kingdom is in there the holy ghost has all of his stuff it's in there and it just needs to come out but you're not letting it come out because you're not full
the kingdom of God begins with recognizing this this inward thing that's happening this inward buzz and increasingly its outward manifestation mm -hmm. you got to recognize it inwardly but as you yield into it you have an increasingly outward manifestation it's like a buzz it's like a it's like a background hum you have this background overwhelming feeling of everything's good I'm good it's okay it's all right it's all working out I said that earlier it's like wrapped being wrapped in a velvet blanket on the inside yeah. it's all good I got my fix I'm good I'm good mm -hmm. and then you learn how to hold your peace you learn how to hold on to it I know this you know this might sound strange to but as you get into as you understand what I'm talking about you're gonna understand what it is then you learn how to hold your peace oh I'm in that state of being that's nice I, when I start to recognize say recognize. recognize when I start to recognize that it's dropping down what am I gonna do about it I'm gonna increase I'm gonna yield more I'm gonna confess scriptures more mm -hmm. and there's a laugh that comes bubbling up so we have righteousness which means speaking right with God peace I talked about the peace just an overwhelming peace that everything's fine and joy mm -hmm. in the Holy Ghost then there's a laugh that comes up ha ha what are you gonna do when that laugh comes up you're gonna suppress it we don't laugh no we're gonna yield to it because the Holy Ghost likes it you recognize an increase what you yield to increases what you suppress goes away we've seen some ways of how to get this substance to get the buzz let's see how can maintain the buzz say maintain, maintain the, buzz. the buzz Jude verse 19 these be they who separate themselves having not the spirit right so some have not the spirit verse 20 but you beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost what do we know that to be speaking in other tongues we're praying with the Holy Ghost we're speaking in agreement and praying with the Holy Ghost when we're speaking in other tongues verse 21 keep yourself in so praying in tongues not only helps you get in you can keep yourself in keep yourself in the love of God the love of God is an altered state it gets you into the love of God and you can help keep yourself in the God kind of love praying in the Holy Ghost it's an altered state how many times have you heard somebody that's drunk hey man I love you man I love you man that's you with the substance of the Holy Ghost it increases your love and it keeps you in your love right mm -hmm. are you here then he goes and I've some have compassion making a difference others save with fear pulling them out of the fire that's some crazy stuff man mm -hmm. people that are inebriate might do something like pull things out of a fire but that's you you're gonna do things that you wouldn't normally do because you're gonna have a boldness that comes on you that you wouldn't normally have are you here I'm talking about an altered state that comes on to you when you're in the substance mm -hmm. an altered state of boldness can you see that live in that altered state keep yourself in it I got in it now I have to keep myself in that altered state that's what I've been saying I walk around in an altered state of thinking and believing in reality that most people don't even know they need to get in it and then keep themselves in it and increase that's where I'm at mm -hmm. that's where you're at we need to increase spiritually modified state of being you get that a spiritually modified state of being pay the price to get the fix is there a price to be paid yeah just what I've been talking about here's Philippians 3 16 nevertheless whereunto we have already attained so you might have already attained a certain amount of this substance that I'm talking about mm -hmm. I need to go from here I've attained a certain amount now I need to 
continue on right nevertheless whereunto we have already attained let us walk by or live by the same rule let us mind the same thing so as we are altered and get into an altered state of reality with the Holy Ghost we need to live by that and then we're going to increase it how do we do it through these means confessing the scripture which contains the substance speaking in other tongues which is speaking in agreement with the substance and worshiping the Holy Ghost if you partake all of them contain the substance of everlasting life if you partake of the substance of everlasting life it will start doing things to you and for you when you say it let it resonate in your spirit I'm just giving you the mechanics of how to get these things to go and move when you say a word or a verse of scripture let it resonate in your spirit inhale it deeply you inhale it you take a deep inhale of that verse you breathe in and out literally the substance of the kingdom of God that's in these verses of Scripture and when you do that it will begin to alter your reality you will begin to understand more about what I'm talking about I hope this blessed you let me pray for you Holy Ghost I ask you to bless these people let them hear this message over and over and let it sink down onto the inside of them and as they do says the Spirit of the Lord I will come upon them and begin to alter their reality they'll begin to see things like they've never seen it before and to be changed and we shall all go from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord in Jesus name Amen